Woo! Raw skills. Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Herder Berlin's ambitious project to take over the Bundesliga from Bayern München. They are doing a lot of business right now that no one in Europe is talking about. First of all, let me actually show you my Herder Berlin thing in FM right now. First of all, if you just go ahead and look at my team, you have Phil Foden, who we ambitiously took away from Manchester City. He's one of our best players. Matthias Kunhoz on the bench because Erling Haaland, we just took him from Dortmund before he was linked to Chelsea. We are doing something. We got Theo Hernandez from AC Milan. He followed Piatek here. We have Hakimi from Real Madrid, who did not want to stay and we lured him to the great city in Germany. Javaro Dilrez, I don't know who this guy is, but I've been watching a lot of highlights of him. I've been watching a lot of highlights of him and he looks absolutely amazing. And why is my light switch? <laughs> yeah, look at these trophies. First of all, we have won the Bundesliga. Actually, we're number one right now. We just beat Real Madrid in the Champions League. Not happy with the result though and how we played. One Champions League, one Europa League, two UEFA Super Cups, three Bundesliga. I am the best manager in the world. All right, I'm gonna stop sucking my own PP pee -pee now. I am an amazing manager, but Herder Berlin are looking ambitious. They just signed, actually going into this new season, if you watch them after lockdown, you'd probably be like, what is he talking about? Herder looked crap, Yeah. Well, actually a lot of their new signings who pretty much are about to make up half their squad weren't eligible to play. The likes of Tossad, who they got from Lyon for 27 million. 22 year old French midfielder Tossad could take them to the new level. They were also linked to Xhaka from Arsenal, who would have been a combative midfielder who could move the ball for them and be composed. Tossad is a tireless midfielder. He can definitely take Herder Berlin's midfield to that next level, especially defensively. He could add some spine to that, also some grit and also some creativity. He's French, so that means Zidane. The Zidane gene is in him. And then Manuel Petit. Christoph Piatek, 24-year-old Polish marksman. The next Robert Lewandowski, apparently. Wow, he wanted to move out of AC Milan, and guess who came in? The German capital club, Herder Berlin. And they could genuinely be looking at him and saying, hey, Piatek, we want you to be our striker for the next eight years. Piatek rushed to the Berlin capital for 26 million. Another fantastic piece of business from the capital of Berlin. And of course, signings, like I said, don't just make a good squad. The manager and the various things that go around that make one as well. Dodi Luca Bacchio, who was on loan, I think, and then they bought him permanently from Watford. Very, very good signing. He played very well against Bayern. I think he got a hat trick against us last season. It was under Nico Kovac, so all that history is erased. Null and void season. Luka Bakio could definitely be that powerful attacking striker slash winger that they really need with the power. He is 6'3". You don't go taller than that, especially with modern wingers getting taller and taller and more technical too. You have strikers like Haaland, 6'4", and they have very nice feet on them. So Luka Bakio could be that next gen of players and they're going to want to use him, okay, alongside Mateus Kunha, 20 million. That's a lot of money. First of all, Kunha wanted to move out of Leipzig because he wasn't getting the play time that I guess Nagelsmann promised him. And what club wanted him? The capital of Germany, ladies and gentlemen. And they bought Mateus Kunha, who looks like a very good striker slash winger. He can probably play across the front three. But what I'm seeing from him is, first of all, first touch, Everything about him, perfection. Berlin fans are gonna be very happy with that signing. They're gonna be, ooh, it's, it's very good signing. It's, it's very good signing. That's what they're gonna be saying in Berlin because Matthias Kunha could really be that guy that gets 20 goals. I'm, pred I'm predicting it now. He'll get 20 plus goals next season. No, he won't get 20 goals. He'll get 15 goals, which is a great record. It could get them into the Champions League. Santiago asked, Kakiba. Well, let me tell you this. I don't know that much about him, but I do know this. He's 5'6", so he's the next N'Golo Kante. Argentinian, so he could take Messi to the World Cup. And finally, Argentina have a defensive midfielder with capabilities. From Nuremberg, they bought Edward Lowen. 
I've never heard of this guy. 7 million they spent on him. Well, coming out from a Bundesliga 2 club, that's a bargain. That's a lot of money you're spending on someone that is unproven. A center back as well. They also bought a striker, Deshaun Redden. Never heard of this guy either, but he looks like he came from the Chelsea under 23s. 3 million they spent on him. Grulich from Liverpool, 2.2 million for his loan fee. Marius Wolf, 2.2 million from Dortmund. Dodrick Boyata, who I actually thought was amazing. Well, he's a free transfer. I don't know. They also have Duda, who's coming back from loan. They just bought some new goalkeeper, who I've never heard of. I don't know, man. Herder Berlin spending more than 130 million at this point will be competitors for that European spot. Now, is it the Champions League or the doom, 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 the Europa League? Hate that freaking song. No wonder Franz Beckenbauer calls it the Losers Cup because it really is. It's such a stupid song. It has to demotivate the players. That, that's what the song's for because no one's getting motivated by that song. But Herder Berlin will want Champions League and that means Leipzig, Dortmund, and Bayern Munich to a certain extent have a new competitor okay Bayern now have a team they have to play twice that could be a real threat and that would mean Dortmund would bottle more points like they always do against weaker opposition and Leipzig will also have a team that's going to chase them down it also means that Mönchengladbach if they don't start doing something Hertha Berlin's coming for their spot and Hertha want to be the big city club in Germany don't they they really want to be I mean if you look across Europe especially Amsterdam, Ajax, Amsterdam, four Champions League trophies. They're not even a top five league. You have the French league, Paris Saint-Germain. Yep, you have PSG, right? England, you have a few clubs there that have done a few things in Europe. Chelsea, the only team in London with one Champions League. You go to Spain, you got Barcelona and ooh, actually no, Madrid, Real Madrid. <laughs> and Atletico in the same city. Two big, big clubs right there getting to Champions League finals. Heard or want that. They want to bring that to their freaking city. Then you go to Italiano. You have AC Milan and Inter Milan, who, geez, looking amazing. I think Lazio's in Milan as well. And Milan Milan should be the capital of Italy. I would look so stupid if someone's like, ah, George, Milan's not the capital of this. Well, I look stupid. Seriously, Heard of Berlin. Can they get to that next stage? They're making the signings. Bruno Labadia must have an idea of what he's doing so we'll see what happens exactly what happens in the next few seasons now this isn't going to be some ambitious project that makes them winners of the champions league in the next two years it's going to take a few seasons of grit it's going to take another sacking maybe of a manager it's going to take another good transfer window if they keep buying players first of all they have that right they're buying good players. I'm looking at these highlights. I'm looking at all the little things. I just watched Herder Berlin versus Leipzig, the second half. And this Javaro de Rossin guy, whatever his name is, he looks very good. It's number 16 for Herder Berlin. Looks like a Leroy Sané, but a cheap man Sané, until he becomes better. Seriously, he looks amazing. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with Herder Berlin. But it is what it is. Sometimes you can't predict what happens with every single team. But you can pretty much say Herder Berlin are ambitious enough. And therefore, teams like Borussia Dortmund will have to start really looking at themselves and looking inwards and saying, hey, what are we doing? Herder's doing business. Let's also get the job done. That's it, Roskills. I'm out.